How do you balance chemical equations? Well, with this video you will understand and learn how to balance chemical equations in four easy steps. You can apply these same steps to balance any unbalanced chemical equations. Now let's practice using a real-life example. Methane gas burning from a kitchen gas stove. Step 1. Write the unbalanced chemical equation to show the reactants and the products. In this reaction, methane, CH4, reacts with oxygen, O2, to form carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. Note that the reactants always go on the left side of the arrow. The arrow indicates the direction of the reaction. The products go to the right side of the arrow. Step 2. Now let's write down the number of atoms. Make a list of all the atoms on each side under the equation for both the reactants and the products. Next to each atom of the list, put the number of atoms present in the equation. Now on the reactant side, next to carbon, put 1. Next to hydrogen, put 4. Next to oxygen, put 2. Apply these same rules to each atom on the product side as well. Notice how the number of atoms on the reactant side can be different from the number of atoms on the product side. In this case, the number of carbon atom is the same on both sides. However, the numbers of oxygen atoms and hydrogen atoms are different. Step 3. Add coefficients in front of the molecules. Now, in order to balance the chemical equation, you need to make sure that the number of atoms on the reactant side is equal to the number of atoms on the product side. To make both sides equal, you will need to multiply the number of atoms in each element until both sides are equal. You can do this by placing coefficients in front of the molecules. On the reactant side, there are four hydrogen atoms. You can add a coefficient 2 in front of H2O molecules to make an equal number of hydrogen atoms on the product side. Now, that increases the number of oxygen atoms on the product side from 3 to 4. Now, in order to make an equal number of oxygen atoms, add a coefficient 2 in front of O2 molecules on the reactant side. Alas, we're at step 4 checking the equation. Finally, let's look at the equation to see if all coefficients will work. If both sides are equal, you have now balanced the chemical equation. Hooray! If they are not equal, rework your multiplication. Here, there are one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms, and four oxygen atoms on both sides. This equation is chemically balanced. Fantastic! Let's try one more example. Write a balanced equation for the reaction of molecular nitrogen and oxygen to form dinitrogen pentoxide. Step 1. Write the unbalanced chemical equation. In this reaction, the reactants are N2 and O2. The product is N2O5, dinitrogen pentoxide. Step 2. Let's write down the number of atoms. On the reactant side, there are two nitrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. On the product side, there are two nitrogen atoms and five oxygen atoms. Step 3. Now let's add the coefficients in front of the molecules. The number of nitrogen atoms are equal on both sides. Next, in order to get the same number of oxygen atoms, Let's add a coefficient 5 in front of O2 on the reactant side and add coefficient 2 in front of N2O5 on the product side. Now this changes the number of nitrogen atoms as well from 2 to 4 on the product side. To compensate this increase, let's add a coefficient 2 in front of N2 on the reactant side. Step 4. Now let's check the equation. As a final step, we have to make sure that the number of atoms on both 
the reactant side and the product side are equal to each other. This is very important. There are four nitrogen atoms on both sides. Also, there are 10 oxygen atoms on both sides. Well, I think we've done it. That's it. Now you know how to balance chemical equations. Thank you for watching.